Hey guys, welcome back to the React Native course. In this video, we are going to talk about how to pass data between one screen to from another screen. Let's see. So what we're going to do basically, we are going to pass static data from one screen to another screen, access the data and display that state. Okay. We're going to have a one text input and whenever we click on a button, so we'll pass the data from one screen to another screen as well. So let's see how we can do it quickly. So you can see that this is the last video which we have talked about the uh, header component in the button. So you know let's clear this code quickly. So I'm going to remove this whole code for now. Okay so you can see that I had removed this code and we got the uh, you know existing code base. So let me summarize this list of what we are doing here. So we have two screen, screen. the first screen is called login screen and the second is screen is called home screen okay and we are using stack navigator now in this video basically we are going to pass the data from login screen to the home screen and we're gonna read that state okay so you can see that uh, i have a uh, you know login i have a uh, login screen so let's whenever we click on home uh, okay so the title is okay so whenever we click on home so it will went to the home page so let me change the button name quickly go to home okay so what we want to do basically whenever we are navigating from login to home screen we want to pass some data so you can see that navigation dot navigate code is already there and we are getting the navigation from the use navigation hook okay you can get the navigation from as well from this props there also but i'm using hooks okay now what we have to do we have to pass a object whatever the data we want to pass we can pass the data like this and we can pass name is equal to name is equal to zero degree coder okay and we can pass the a is at a 20 whatever want to pass and once we pass that okay we pass this data to the home screen now we want to read this data so to read this data what we have to do we have another property called route or root in the props so we get the root props okay and what we have to do basically uh, we have to uh, you know let's see what we are getting so we have to type route dot route dot or params route dot params okay so you can see that i had typed the route dot params and if i console the data so what we gonna get the data let's see i'm going to home again and if i click go to login so we are getting nothing on the home screen and that's weird if i again click on home so i'm not getting any data so is it am i doing any typo so route dot params dot uh data maybe let's give a try no data is, should be not there route dot I think params was the property params params if I just do Google so what we have to do pass data from one component to one screen to another screen another screen in react native okay so you get this article like whenever you get an issue or how do I search that is one of the most important thing like you should also know so you can see that this I'm getting this article okay and I have to type route dot params okay so what mistake I was doing route dot params right and you can see that navigation dot navigate no mistake I'm doing man uh, so we are going to home page oh awesome so you can see that we are getting the data basically I was maybe may doing some typos I don't know but now you can see that in the console we, we are getting the data route dot params okay now on that uh, on the home screen i want to show the name so how we can show the name basically text okay name each name each uh, data dot data dot uh, name and let's see so we are you can we can get the name is a zero degree coder and if we want to show the age so we can write like this 
okay age age is data dot age okay so you can see that age we got 20 okay now again if we click on go to home so we are getting that all the data so basically to pass the data we have to pass that object using the navigation dot navigate and the second parameter is our data and to read the data what we have to do we have to get the route from this props okay and we have to write route dot params and it will return this object whatever you are passing and you can read this data like this and you can show the data like this okay now let's suppose we want to do uh, another thing also like let's suppose we have a text input okay and let's do another stuff basically so we're gonna have a const name set name set name and by default use state value will be in null or empty string okay now the text input value will be uh, value will be name for now okay and we're gonna have a on change text okay so whenever we change the text so we are getting the value and let's update the set name is equal to value so let's go back so you can see this you want we can't see anything on the ui so let's add a background color as well so i'm going to add a background color as a white okay so you can see that uh, something okay let me add a color as a green maybe so you can see this like we are getting this input and if i type something you can see this okay so it's updating this value this on the set name and what we want to do the place of zero degree decoder i want to pass this state okay so if i click on uh hi i am from text input okay so what is happening let me explain you so we are having a one state and maintaining that state using the set state so we are defined the value and whenever we change the text so we are updating this state okay now when we navigating from one screen to another screen we are passing a data name and the name this name is state okay and while navigating the data we are getting this data here route dot params and the data variable and we are showing data dot name on this name is so if i click on go to home so you can see that we are getting that values okay so yeah this is how we pass the data from one screen to another screen in the react native in the next video we are going to talk about how to implement bottom tab navigation so guys if you guys have any question please let me know and yeah thank you bye